This is really quite a smart pen, isn't it? Small pointed pen, of course. That rather nice little blue band there. What is it? Well, it does something rather interesting. It's got a lid here, which I've got to lift up. And then I've got to push this up and... Oh, one of those, yes. Oh, for the kids. When they're at school, they want some entertainment when they're doing their lessons or writing their essays. So that's a very nicely constructed piece of work, that. I'm going to put it down carefully on the paste and put it with the other pens which I want to show you, but it's not the idea for children to be able to blow a few bubbles while they're writing or doing their calculations or whatever they're doing, essay writing. These are not so much for children, it's a bit of fun, really. This is, this is one of those ballpoint pens, it looks like, anyway, if it's actually a pencil, and it's a syringe, or it looks like a syringe, and to make it operate, you simply do what you do with a syringe, which is a bit of this. And look what's happening. You're actually getting a, one of those tiny little micro lids coming out of it, which the Japanese invented all those years ago to save you having to use pencil sharpeners. Very, very clever. It advances the pen, the, uh, the pencil lid. Very nicely done, that, and it works really well. Syringe, pencil. Hmm. See how many CCs you've got in there. <laughs> There's another one here which has got an extraordinary mechanism. It's a kind of reversing mechanism. I mean, it does something like that to open and close, but look what's actually happening. I'm going to pull this this way, and this piece, instead of going needing a, a push inwards to make it go, just needs a pull to make it come out. And out it comes. That's very counterintuitive. There's some reversing mechanism or gearing which makes it go the other way. And it flips in too, which is very nice too. So it's a very, very effective and very neatly made ballpoint pen and very high quality, incidentally. I think it was MoMA probably made this. But it's got this mechanism which I've never seen before. I'm longing to get into it, but I break it in doing so, which I'm, I'm not willing to do, obviously. But it's got something very clever going on inside there, which makes that reversing mechanism so strange. This is just one of those silly things which looks like a uh, cigarette with a tip, and of course it's not, it's a ballpoint pen. And this ash is, you know, that's just the um, tip, just as a, a cover. But it's, um, I mean, it looks like one of those. This is rather more fun, for again, for children. It's got a little barrow here, we pull this, put this, pull out, yes, there we are, there's a ballpoint pen. But the rest of it, of course, is fun for children because they can play with it. <whistles> it looks vaguely like a dragon too, look at that, a purple dragon or, octo uh, not a dragon, um, a crocodile. <whistles> but it works well too, so well designed, I think, very nicely designed. There's a lovely set of things here which I had a long time ago and a spray things which work like this. You have to open up, put the thing around, turn it the other way and then you spray with your mouth and it sprays the ink onto the page like this, watch. And you can draw with it. Well, I suppose you could do letters but it's rather more fun to do pictures and things. Here's another one. I remember when that was being launched at the Toy Fair for the first time, and I was absolutely amazed and gobsmacked by the ingenuity of doing that. It's got uh, a pen inside, which has got ink in it, and the air current going past it picks up the ink and blows it onto the page and encourages the kids to be highly artistic. Very, very clever idea, that. I do like things which are, well, break the ice and shows a, a completely new approach to, um, to, to, to writing instruments. The last one is just a, quite a nice looking pen. I think it's got a lid somewhere. And I've got a, oh, this is a pen. The lid comes out of there, I think it is. Oh, oh, oh dear. Did that to myself again. Yes, it's a squirting pen. It squirts you in the face. Well, that's a bit of fun, isn't it?